problems are to the mind what exercises to the muscles, they toughen and make strong. Become a possibilitarian. No matter how dark things seem to be or actually are, raise your sights and see possibilities, always see them, for they're always there. Don't duck the most difficult problems. That just ensures that the hardest part will be left when you are most tired. Get the big one done, it's downhill from then on. Dot every problem has in it the seeds of its own solution. If you don't have any problems, you don't get any seeds. I've got great faith in the essential fairness and decency, you may say goodness, of the human being. In every difficult situation is potential value. Believe this, then begin looking for it. Never talk defeat. Use words like hope, belief, faith, victory. People become really quite remarkable when they start thinking that they can do things. When they believe in themselves they have the first secret of success. The life of inner peace, being harmonious and without stress, is the easiest type of existence. There is a real magic in enthusiasm. It spells the difference between mediocrity and accomplishment. We've all heard that we have to learn from our mistakes, but I think it's more important to learn from successes. If you learn only from your mistakes, you are inclined to learn only errors. Action is a great restorer and builder of confidence. Inaction is not only the result, but the cause, of fear. Perhaps the action you take will be successful, perhaps different action or adjustments will have to follow. But any action is better than no action at all. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers you cannot be successful or happy. Don't take tomorrow to bed with you. Faith is the most powerful of all forces operating in humanity and when you have it in depth nothing can get you down. If you have zest and enthusiasm you attract zest and enthusiasm. Life does give back in kind. It is of practical value to learn to like yourself. Since you must spend so much time with yourself you might as well get some satisfaction out of the relationship. No matter how dark things seem to be or actually are, raise your sights and see the possibilities always see them, for they're always there. Practice hope. As hopefulness becomes a habit, you can achieve a permanently happy spirit. The mind, ever the willing servant, will respond to boldness, for boldness, in effect, is a command to deliver mental resources. Understanding can overcome any situation, however mysterious or insurmountable it may appear to be. What is hope? Hope is wishing for a thing to come true, faith is believing that it will come true. Always remember that problems contain values that have improvement potential. By success, of course, I do not mean that you may become rich, famous, or powerful for that does not, of necessity, represent achievement. Indeed, not infrequently, such individuals represent pathetic failure as persons. Drop the idea that you are Atlas carrying the world on your shoulders. The world would go on even without you. Don't take yourself so seriously. Formulate and stamp indelibly on your mind a mental picture of yourself as succeeding. Hold this picture tenaciously. Never permit it to fade. Your mind will seek to develop the picture. Do not build up obstacles in your imagination. If you paint in your mind a picture of bright and happy expectations, you put yourself into a condition conducive to your goal. It must also be taken into consideration that people are people regardless of who they are or what their backgrounds may be. There are certain deep universal appeals to human interest and to these human nature always responds. 
One of the greatest moments in anybody's developing experience is when he no longer tries to hide from himself but determines to get acquainted with himself as he really is. Repetition of the same thought or physical action develops into a habit which, repeated frequently enough, becomes an automatic reflex. The more you lose yourself in something bigger than yourself, the more energy you will have. Watch your manner of speech if you wish to develop a peaceful state of mind. Start each day by affirming peaceful, contented and happy attitudes and your days will tend to be pleasant and successful. When every physical and mental resources is focused, one's power to solve a problem multiplies tremendously. Any fact facing us is not as important as our attitude toward it, for that determines our success or failure. The way you think about a fact may defeat you before you ever do anything about it. You are overcome by the fact because you think you are. Change your thoughts and you change your world. Empty pockets never held anyone back. Only empty heads and empty hearts can do that. 4 Things for Success, Work and Pray, Think and Believe 4 Things for Success, Work and Pray, Think and Believe If you put off everything till you're sure of it, you'll never get anything done. It's always too soon to quit. One way to become enthusiastic is to look for the plus sign. To make progress in any difficult situation, you have to start with what's right about it and build on that. Stand up to your obstacles and do something about them. You will find that they haven't half the strength you think they have. The person who sends out positive thoughts activates the world around him positively and draws back to himself positive results. We struggle with the complexities and avoid the simplicities. When you pray for anyone you tend to modify your personal attitude toward him. Be interesting, be enthusiastic, and don't talk too much. Change yourself and your work will seem different. Enthusiasm releases the drive to carry you over obstacles and adds significance to all you do. Getting people to like you is merely the other side of liking them. Imagination is the true magic carpet. Live your life and forget your age. Part of the happiness of life consists not in fighting battles, but in avoiding them. A masterly retreat is in itself a victory. The how thinker gets problems solved effectively because he wastes no time with futile ifs but goes right to work on the creative how. The trouble with most of us is that we would rather be ruined by praise than saved by criticism. We tend to get what we expect. You will soon break the bow if you keep it always stretched.